Hello everyone, my name is Victoria and in this tutorial I will explain how to fix error establishing a database connection in WordPress. The error establishing a database connection is a common issue for WordPress websites. This error happens when a site refuses to connect to the WordPress database. Most of the time you might encounter this error message after migrating a WordPress website. Let's begin by understanding how WordPress works. WordPress is written in PHP and uses MySQL as a database system. So, MySQL stores all information that makes up your website. When someone visits your WordPress site, specific PHP commands will help get your site information from the database and display it on the visitor's browser. If your PHP commands cannot get back and display information, your browser will show the error establishing a database connection message. Fortunately, this error message is not visible on the front end as long as your website cache is available. But it blocks you from the accessing the WordPress dashboard, so it's essential to determine what caused this issue and fix it right away. Some of the main reasons behind this error message are your database login credentials are incorrect, your database server is down, or some of your core files are corrupted. Here are four common solutions to fix error establishing a database connection in WordPress. The first thing to do when experiencing this error is to check whether the database login settings match the ones in your vpconfig.php file, which is your website's configuration file. To do this, access your configuration file using an FTP client or file manager. Here are the steps to open your configuration file using Hostinger's HPanel. Log into the HPanel, find my SQL databases button under the database section. On the list of current MySQL databases and users section, take note of the information under MySQL database user and host. Access the file manager, open the public HTML directory and find the vpconfig.php file. Right-click on the file and select Edit to open a set of database information and configurations. Find the lines with the database name, username and host. Make sure that the information matches with the one under your MySQL database user and host. If not, edit these lines of code to match the database information. The code will be available in the description below. Once you have edited the file, refresh WordPress to see whether the error establishing a database connection message is still there. Another method to fix error establishing a database connection is checking whether your domain is pointing to your web host. Switching to a new hosting provider will automatically move your database information to the new host. But if your domain is not pointing to the correct host, it can cause database failure. So check the name servers using your hosting control panel and whois lookup tool. Head to the HPanel dashboard and click on Details button under Accounts. Take note of the information under the Name Server section. Next, open Whois Lookup Tool and insert your domain name. Check the Name Server's information from your hosting account and Whois. If the Name Server's match, your domain is pointing correctly. If they don't, you will need to change the Name Server's at your domain register. Click Domains and select your domain name. Next to Name Server's, click Change. Add the correct name servers and click Save. Check your WordPress to see if the error message is still there. Note that it might take up to 24 hours for the domain to propagate to the new name servers. The error establishing a database connection message can also appear if your MySQL server is down. A database server has a maximum number of clients that it can connect to a particular time. When it reaches its maximum capacity, the server will not be able to handle more connections. You can contact your hosting provider to check if your MySQL server is down. Another option to check whether the database server is down is to use PHP to connect MySQL. Doing so will check if your WordPress database user has sufficient permission. On the HPanel, open File Manager and access your public HTML folder. Click on the new file icon to create a new PHP file. As an example, let's name this file test.php. Paste this code into the file, it will also be available in the description below. Replace the database username and password with your credentials and save this file. 
Access the test file through your web browser. If the connection is successful, it means that your user has enough permissions and something else is causing the error message to appear. If the error message showed up after you activated a new theme or a plugin, I recommend to deactivate and delete it. Access your file manager and find the WP content folder in your public HTML directory. Open the themes folder if your issue is with the theme or plugins folder if your problem is with a plugin. Select the new theme or plugin and click on trash can icon to delete it. If that didn't solve the issue, deactivate all plugins to identify which one is causing the error. Access the plugins folder in the WordPress section. Temporarily deactivate the plugins one by one. After each deactivation, check WordPress to see if the error message is still there. Once you have found the culprit, remove the plugin. Great! Now we know four methods to fix the error establishing a database connection. If you have any feedback or questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time!